Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to go over on how to do banking in Modisoft. So yesterday I did a video on how to add a bank in Modisoft. So in order to do the banking in Modisoft, you will need to watch that video first. This video will assume that you have already added the bank in Modisoft, and you will be going. When we will be going through how to use the actual banking part in Modisoft. So in order to do banking, you will go to the main menu in the top left corner. You will go to the bank icon here, and then there will be a bank register, which you will click. Whenever you open it up, you'll be greeted with the landing page here, where you have your bank register, your bank balance statement, reconcile, the history, for reconciliation and then online banking. So today we're going to be going over the first five, which would be the bank register, bank balance statement, reconcile, and reconciliation history. I will create a separate video on online banking since that is a little bit different than the banking that we have here. So if you're using our software to the an extent of you know entering your numbers every day, um, doing your vendor invoices and things like that, or if you're even cutting out checks to your vendors or your employees, you are making entries in the Modisoft software which are getting tracked for things that are being purchased and spent. And all of these values are input in the bank register here. So you have the ability to look at everything here that you have done for your business and you have the ability to anytime that you do transactions throughout your entire business you can actually add those entries here in the bank so that you can keep a track of what's going on in your account so you want to keep a track make sure your balance is good on your bank account so for example this is an example of what it would look like based off of what type of transactions you do th in, throughout your day. So if you're doing any deposits, if you're doing any credits, any expenses, purchases, etc., or any EFTs, for example, like anything that gets taken out every week, such as your rent, maybe you have EFT for your lottery, all that stuff, stuff is happening in your business. And the bank register here is keeping a track of everything, and then you're able to add entries and keep a track of your balance while you're doing so. So depending on how many banks that you have added into your account, you have the ability to, if you want to keep a track of, you know, multiple banks, or if you have one main bank that you are using, you can use the drop down for your bank here. So we'll just keep it out here at Wells Fargo. You're able to search and filter out the date range. You're able to see anything that's been reconciled, not reconciled, etc. And then if you have multiple locations that are using this bank, you do have the ability to select those locations if you did link your bank with multiple locations. And then once you filter it out, it's going to load all your transactions here below. And then you're able to go over. And if need be, you can edit these transactions. So if you need to add an entry, because maybe you're going through your bank statement, and you notice that something is missing. And if you are not using online banking and you need to add an entry, you can click this add new bank entry here. And then you need to fill out as much of this as you possibly can. So you want to enter if there's a vendor that maybe you did a transaction for, like let's say you were making a vendor check or maybe an employee check, you're able to put who the payee is, which bank is going to pay for it, what date that you are going to make this transaction for because if let's say you're using banking for the first time and you want to catch up for the past couple months and enter everything incorrectly in the bank register then you can enter older transactions and just put the dates when those transactions happened if it was done by check you can put your check or a reference number if it was reconciled you are able to Enter the reconciled date, check mark that it was reconciled. If you have any files for that transaction, maybe you have you know screenshots, maybe you took a, a photo of that specific document. Enter a memo, 
And what type of transaction is it? Is it a payment or is it a deposit? Once you have entered all of that information, then you are able to come down here, choose which account in your chart of accounts that this will be for. So let's say this was a payroll expense that you are doing. Then you are able to come down here, enter a payroll expense, put what type, you know, describe it however you want. You don't have to. And then put that value here. So let's say it was a payroll expense for $1,500 to this employee here. Hit save and close. And then it will add it here to your register as a payroll expense. This will update your profit and loss statement based on what you entered on this day. So moving along to the bank balance, whenever you load this tab, this page is going to show once you've entered the data on this filter here based off your bank and date range and what type of transactions that you are looking at. When you apply those filters, it's going to load anything and everything that you have already reconciled in Modisoft. So every transaction that you've done and reconciled will populate on this page and you are able to just kind of go through everything and just verify that your statement is correct based off of your bank. In the bank statement, this is basically the same thing as your bank balance. Whenever you click apply, and do that filter, it will also show you everything that has been reconciled in Modisoft, but it's going to, you're going to be able to view it in the same way that you would whenever you get those paper or even those electronic statements from your bank via email or via mail. So it's going to have your deposits and credits, and then it's also going to have your withdrawals and debits that have happened on the dates based off of your filter. So this is a good tab to use if you want to compare it with what you are getting from your actual bank. So whenever you do receive your bank statement from your mail or from email, you can sit down here side by side and you can verify everything is correct based off your bank statement. Now in the Reconcile tab, this right here is going to show any outstanding transactions that have been done in your bank register which you have not reconciled yet in the software. So let's say you were trying to make a statement for the end of October, which was last month. So you want to reconcile your bank. And according to your bank statement, let's say you're supposed to have, you know, one point two million dollars in the bank then when you click on start reconciliation it will load anything that has not been reconciled yet between now and the end of october and then you'll be able to process whatever you see here check off and verify that these values match up what's in your statement if for any reason you have other transactions, deposits, credits, etc., that you have not added here, then you have the ability to click on Add New Entry here and then add the same thing. Just add those transactions here so that you can reconcile them in the bank. So once you have checkmarked anything and everything that you have reconciled here, just need to click this checkbox here. And then this will reconcile your bank with the value that you put for that specific day. So it will do the calculations for you, what the ending balance from the register is, what we entered, what the balance should be, any payments and debits that we entered down here in the grid. And then it will automatically add this entry. So once we click it, and if you do see a message like this, where it's saying there's an, uh, creating an adjustment for the difference, it's most likely because you may be starting banking for the first time at your location. So you've never kept a track and you've never reconciled any of your transactions. So we are going to enter this value so that you can even out the actual balance and difference that you should have in your bank. So that from this point moving forward, 
whenever you reconcile, everything should come out perfect. As long as you keep a track of your bank every single day. So whenever you get this message for the first time, don't worry about it. Just click Add Adjustment, and then this will auto-adjust your bank register for that. When you go back to your register, you will, since we made that last reconciliation for the end of October, we will enter last month whenever we're searching. And when you apply, you will see that this reconciliation discrepancy is going to auto add that difference so that your balance will match for what it should have been at the end of October. On this last tab, we have the reconciliation history. So you can view any reconciliations that you have done with any and all of your banks. You're able to keep a track of the dates that you did the reconciliations for, the balances, and then you can even view the reports. So like for this last one that we just did, you're able to view the report of what the beginning balance was, what you cleared that day, the adjustment that had to be made, and then the ending balance for that end of that month. And then it shows you the details for the checks and debits and everything that was cleared on that day. And there you have it. This is a beginner's guide on how to use the banking with Modisoft. If you do have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team 24-7, 365, and they will be more than happy to be able to help guide you into learning banking at a more deeper level. And like I said in the beginning, I will make another video on how to use online banking and how this correlates to using banking and making it an even more staple platform and module to use in Modisoft. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.